Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part five of the Solar Fox. I want to get this um, coin door tore down. I'm just going to sandblast this because I have other stuff I'm sandblasting. So I want to get it all torn down and taken apart so I can sandblast that. I'm also going to sandblast the grill because it has a little bit of uh, rusting going on here. So it'd probably be quicker and easier just to run the sandblaster over it real quick. And also I'm going to do the bubbles coin doors and a couple other brackets too since i'm sandblasting parts mine will just knock them all out one time hopefully i have enough sand if not i might have to go get another bag so you see how rusty this is i do have new ones of these so we'll replace those um obviously we'll take this tag off and replace that somebody put a carriage bolt in there to cover the lock hole so let's get this torn down and then um get it sandblasted with all these other parts so that we can get it all painted. I forget what size these nuts are, 5 sixteenths. Probably should have got a bucket for them all, but that's okay. We'll uh, just put them on the counter for now. All this hardware actually looks in really good shape on this for the most part. The only part I really can't sandblast today for Solar Fox is that instructions panel that goes in front of the control panel because I don't know if I'm going to need it to reference the artwork in the future or not. These coin doors come apart pretty quickly, really not that much to them. Got to probably get some wire cutters or I can use my knife to cut some of these zip ties. Um, I don't know if I have new ones of these, but I bet you yeah, I could probably buff these out to look pretty much new. This one looked to be in better shape than the other one. If I don't have new ones, I'll probably just clean those ones up. coin counter we can clean that up on the coin counter this says that there is 46,926 plays on this game because this has always been a solar fox as far as I know unless somebody at one point converted it to something else and then put it back to solar fox that I'm not sure of I mean somebody definitely did some work on the control panel at some point so it's tough to say now these are a little bit more corroded than normal. So I might just wire wheel these and spray paint them silver again. Usually they're not like that, but there's like a white corrosion on them. So on this video, we'll get the coin door sandblasted and the other parts and we'll paint them and then uh, they'll be ready to go back together. Okay, let's um, take out the coin mix. It'll let me. Okay, we got a couple screws down here. only three on each one. We just got a couple more wires we gotta cut the zip ties off of carefully without nicking the wires. Side cutters would be a little bit easier but I don't feel like getting up and getting them. zip tie. 
We gotta take the slam switch out. But before we do that, we'll take off these coin chutes, these outer parts. I always save the bolts for them, even though they come with new ones, because I like the original ones. They're a little bit bigger in size. I mean, if you wanted to save some money, you probably could just sand these down and paint them silver. Probably wouldn't look too bad, but having nice chrome ones look better. I don't think they're actually chromed. I think they're just nickel plated. Jesus. They really tighten that one. Gotta make sure those slam switches are tight, you know. Okay. Now we just have to drill out the badge. And I think I'm going to separate the door from the frame. So let's do that real quick. It's just three Phillips screws. All my bits always fall out. I hate that. Um, should be a good size there. Eighth inch, I think it is, or smaller actually. Seven sixty-fourths. Sometimes the rivet likes to spin. Which makes it a lot more difficult. Now I do not have, I have the new rivets, but I don't have the tool to mushroom the back ends over. So I always just super glue them in place, the rivets. I'm sure that the tool for those, you probably have to hit it with a hammer. So I don't really even care to get one because I'm gonna have a freshly painted door and I'm gonna be having it laying down on a towel or something like that and I'm gonna be hammering on it. So I'd rather not do that. So I don't mind super gluing them in. Okay, so this is all torn apart. This is ready for sandblasting. The reason why I'm sandblasting this one is you can't really see it in the camera, but this is all rust and it's just very hard to see off camera or on camera, but there's definitely a bunch of rust there. So we'll just knock it down to the bare metal and uh, put a little texture on it and respray it. Actually, I'm gonna go to Lowe's today because Krylon started making a texture paint that resembles this texture really good. And I went to try to buy it a couple months ago and they were out of it. So I've, and I've forgotten about it since. And it'd be kind of cool if I could find it and use that to try it because I haven't tried it before. It's something new that came out this year, I think. So, okay, this is ready to go. Those other parts down there are ready to go. So I gotta go get some other um, part of a hood done, ready to sandblast it, 
the rust off of it. So I'm gonna go do that for a little bit and then I'll come back and I'll video me sandblasting these parts down. And then uh, after that, we'll be ready to just clean them and uh, paint them. Oh, you know what? There is a little bit of damage here on this on this right here. It's a little bent in, see that? Let's see if we can straighten it with uh, the vise by just putting it in there and clamping it down. If that doesn't work, we'll take the hammer and tap on it. But sometimes you get lucky with the vise. better. we got another little ding right here. You can see it's pushed in pretty good there. Definitely a lot better. A lot better. Maybe just lightly tap it right here a little bit. Pretty darn good. So, okay, now these are ready. So I'll be back in a little bit and we'll continue this on. Okay, I ran out and got a second bag of sand blasting uh, sand. Um, I picked up some satin black um, spray paint and I found the textured spray paint. So I bought two, two, or two cans of that as well to try it. Now I've been flip flopping back and forth because I just don't know what I like better as far as the coin doors and stuff to either be a satin black or a matte black. And I've come to the conclusion that I like the matte black better on the cabinet wood itself and I like the satin black better on the metal pieces. Um, it gives a little bit more shine. Um, I think it looks a little bit more to the originality of it rather than the, the matte black. And then this textured black here, they don't tell you what type of a finish it leaves. So we're gonna spray the texture first. Um, and it's all in one paint and primer, so we can go right over the bare metal. So we're gonna put the texture down first, and then we'll top it off with this satin black because it would probably be a smart idea to cover over the texture that comes out of this with a little bit of regular paint. So now I've got the sandblaster set up. I got the parts out there. Let's go out there and I'll sandblast one or two parts on the camera and then I'll do the rest off the camera. Just show you how it works and it usually works pretty quickly. So uh, let's get set up here. Just gotta put my uh, sandblasting hood on and then we can get these this door and ring done.
Look at all the look at all the rust on that. Okay, I'll finish up the last couple pieces off camera. I still gotta do the back side of this. Now the back side of this, I took a picture of the sticker so that I can recreate it because it's all peeling off and stuff. So I'm just gonna sandblast that off. This is weird. This, I think it was like a vinyl coated screen cover or something, or uh, uh, speaker grill. I think that's what's blowing around on the ground, which now I gotta pick up. 
but uh, I think that's what that was, was coated with vinyl and it just rusted underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the coin doors for the bubbles and a couple brackets for bubbles, and then we'll come back and I gotta move the car out of the spray booth and then we can um, work on painting these. Um, I have to do a little bit of body work to this one here. Somebody drilled a little hole in the bubbles cabinet door for a credit switch, so I need to weld that in. Other than that, this is uh, caved in like they all are. Somebody kicks every single coin door in the, around, so really not much I can do about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish sandblasting these and I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna weld up this hole now. Uh, and then we can get, get, get it ground down and do the little bit of body work we need to do to it. I'm gonna use my blow gun to kind of keep the metal cool as I do it so that it doesn't warp any worse than it is because you can see it's got a nice bend to it from being kicked or something but let's go ahead and get this welded A little tacks on this side and then it'll be ready for grinding. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my grinder, grind down both sides. Now be ready for a little bit of filler over that. Okay, let's grind this down. As you can see it it doesn't really need barely any filler just needs a little bit just to fill in those grinding marks and then uh, this will be ready for paint as well It'd be nice if I can get this stupid bend out of this door but we could try to tap on it a little bit I don't know if that's gonna do anything just got to be careful because I don't want to put a bunch of dents in it wonder if I uh, lightly come in here and it's not really moving might have helped a little bit. That helped in the middle. Right here is in. Not gonna change. All right, let's mix up a little filler. I'm sure if I played around with the torch and heat and everything else, I could probably get it, but it's not worth it. You'll never even really notice it. I have other doors that are caved in a little bit like that. Once you put all the stuff on it, and 
on the cabinet. It's not noticeable at all. We're going to use a little bit of uh, glazing putty. Let's see if there's any left in this one. The U pull glaze. You can buy this on Amazon. I don't know if uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts is selling it anymore. I was there the other day and I didn't see any. So they might have quit selling it. So I would imagine you could probably get it on eBay or Amazon. Or another store. Go to your paint supply for automotive. I'm going to have to probably open up a new one. Actually, here's another partial one. Let me see if this one has me in it. There we go. Okay, a little bit of hardener. It's a little, a little too much hardener, but it'll be all right. Okay, just let that dry. And then that can get sanded down and it'll be ready for paint with all the other parts. And then uh, we will have a bunch more stuff done for Solar Fox and we'll have the coin door and a couple other brackets done for um, bubbles. So, all right, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I got everything hung up. I sanded down that little Bondo spot. Now what I want to do is I'm going to spray the texture paint first on the uh, coin doors. Uh, I'm going to try not to get too much on those other brackets, but it should be fine. I don't, I've never tried this before. This is a Krylon Fusion all-in-one paint and primer, textured black. So we'll see how this works. First time using it. And then we'll go over it with a satin black. I'm gonna go grab my respirator real quick.
first one and put a second coat on. This stuff dries pretty quick. Let's see what it says here. Um, looking real quick. Wait one minute between coats.
finish putting a coat of paint on this. We'll come back, we'll take a look at them. Everything's painted. It's still a little glossy looking because it's not dry yet. But maybe because it's a little glossy right now, maybe we can get a little bit of a... There you go, you can see that texture now. It's a little bit different texture than like the midway cabinets had originally. But I'm all right with that because it looks fine. You know, once it dries to a satin finish, rather than it being shiny right now, it should look really good. So basically, I went through about a half a can of the textured black, and I went through about three, one and three quarters cans of the satin black. So that's really not bad for three coin doors total, a couple brackets and a speaker grill. Uh, can't really complain with that. It's about $8 a can, I think, for that stuff between i think it's yeah i think it's around six to eight dollars depending this is the control panel that we cleaned and painted last night this is all ready to go i'm gonna carry this in the house tonight so that uh that can get put back together with the new overlay um we're getting pretty far on the firefox pretty quickly um we really only have i don't i think we have just about everything clean for it um these brackets here are for uh bubbles so those all that stuff bubbles up there i need to clean this up Got a little bit of a mess going on we still got to do the control panel for bubbles um i gotta get i have a new speaker grill for bubbles because that's somebody laminated a piece of wood and that's wrong um but uh solar fox the only other thing we need to do paint wise is try to fix up the back side of the glass for the uh screen vessel um, it's got like some splitting and cracking in the backside. So I'm hoping to take some craft paint and go over it and then maybe we can put some of that uh, I got to look it up again what that clear stuff is that you put over the back to keep it from further healing. A lot of pinball guys use it and stuff but I can't think of what the name of it is offhand. So all right I think this is part five I think I said earlier. I'm, I'm forgetting it because I have so many things going on. So this is going to end part five of the Solar Fox. If you guys are liking what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, feel free to ask. And if maybe if one of you guys remember the name or know the name of that stuff, the clear stuff that people have been putting on the back sides of their pinball glass to keep it from flaking further, uh, please uh, send me a comment and let me know. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow.